When I was 23 years old, I came to Prague where I spent the four most happy years of my life. I left Stockholm as soon as I received a scholarship from the Charles University to study medicine. My classmates said that I reminded them of a mix between James Dean and Marlon Brando. I took dancing lessons three times a week and I soon learned both the rumba and the tango. The teacher called me a dancer by nature. I also mastered the violin and the piano and I ended up having brief simultaneous relationships with both my teachers. During the summer vacation, I wrote a small screenplay and it got picked up by a major studio. The director casted me for the main role. What do you see? Only you. And cut! Great work, guys. This is the, this is the thing. What we're going for. Absolutely, absolutely coming there. The newspapers described it as a groundbreaking emotional trip. I regularly received admiring letters from readers that appreciated my speculations and my view of the world. I got invited to fancy dinners with the most extraordinary and prominent people. I was young, vital and on the rise. Prague, the world, was my oyster. One day a letter came. A girl who had read an article about me had written to me. Elaine was her name. We started to write to each other like we were the only two people left on earth. I struggled to write her the perfect letter. She occupied my thoughts day and night. We exchanged more than 20 letters during that six month period. She wanted a description of how I looked like and I asked her for one as well. The way she described herself. I was infatuated with the girl I've never met. Early one morning I received a letter from her. I'm tired of this. I'm going to pack my bag and come see you. I'll be arriving this Saturday at 5 o'clock at the Prague Central Station. Love, Elaine. I planned out scenarios of how beautiful she would be. Standing there at the train station. Falling into my arms. I imagined her smell, her voice, and her lips against mine. Saturday finally came. First I was going to pick her up at the train station, and after that I was going to show her the Charles Bridge, the Prague Castle, then we would go back to my apartment, where there would be dinner waiting for us. The clock turned 4.30. I was finally about to meet, and most of all see her. Elaine. The last thing I had to do was to take off the boiling eggs from the gas stove. But the water had put out the fire.
A lady tried to reach me numerous times by mail and phone. I never reached back. Saturday finally came. First I was going to pick her up at the train station, and after that I was going to show her the Charles Bridge, the Prague Castle, and the Old Town. I'm tired of this. I'm packing up my things to come see you in Prague. I'll be arriving this Saturday at five o'clock in the afternoon at the central station. Love, Elaine. Some readers that appreciated my speculations and my view of the world. I can invite to fancy dinners with the most extraordinary and prominent people. I was young, vital, and on the rise. Prague, the world, it was my oyster. <laughs> 